Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Junkyard Digs. I'm your host Kevin, and if you notice, I'm still wearing my farming get up. Even though the corn went in yesterday, we are not done yet. There's plenty of work left to do. Specifically, giving the corn a little something to eat in the form of fertilizer and finding ourselves a sprayer to put it on. Which is exactly what we're going to be doing today with this very old, completely abandoned, haggy sprayer. Let's get to it. First of all, thank you everyone for joining us for today's video. Make sure you like, share, leave a comment. It helps with the algorithms, gets us some more views so we can keep doing this stuff and bringing you free farm and automotive content here on YouTube. Second of all, um, I don't know what the hell I'm doing today, especially more than usual. If you haven't been watching already, what we're doing this spring is planting all of our crop with abandoned equipment. We've got about four and a half, five acres behind our house and we've been able to disc, cultivate, and plant the whole thing with abandoned equipment, most of which we got for free, just like this one. However, that stuff was kind of fairly simple and for the most part I was able to figure everything out. This one, I don't know a single thing about. I've never ran a sprayer, I've never even been around sprayers. Usually spraying something you would hire done because it's such a precision process and if you screwed up, you might kill all your corn. So, we might kill all our corn, <laughs> but <laughs> we're gonna see if we can at least bring this old haggy back to life. As you can see, this is a haggy high tractor. I have no idea what year. I also don't know if I'm even pronouncing haggy right. I think it's actually haggy. Either way, they're actually built right over here off on the horizon in Clarion, Iowa. Look real close, you can actually see the town over there. What do you say we uh, take a look at what the hell we got here, Jesse? Sounds like a good plan to me. I have no idea what we got here, Jesse. We have a bird nest. We do, that I am somewhat familiar with. We've got ourselves a big V4. If I had a guess, I'd say that's a Wisconsin. It is indeed a big V4 Wisconsin. It's a three and a quarter by a three and a quarter, if that means anything to anyone. All I know is I got an email from one of our fans saying, hey, I did some work for a guy last summer and he had an old sprayer in a shed. And then the tornadoes came through and his uh, shed is now around the sprayer instead of over it, which, as you can tell, part of today's task is going to be get some remaining rafters off this thing so that we can get it out of here. We've got two flat tires, uh, a wagon in the way with very little ways to move it. Oh, it works. I can move it. Look at it. What are you moving? Oh, the whole sprayer by hand. Okay, so there's always that option. <laughs> Okay, well, I broke the first hose, which was already broken, but I just broke it more. So we're gonna have a lot of those to fix. Note to self, don't climb on anything. This appears to be the belly tank. Oh, good. Comes with an empty oil can. I see an agitator, uh, a little bit of rust in the bottom, but other than that, I bet the sucker holds liquid, at least for a little bit. To stop pushing, okay, so I've got a push button starter. It's basically a Lamborghini. <laughs> speed gauge, amp mirrors, and PSI. These look to be our flow controls. They don't really seem to flow or control anything anymore. This big thing. I hear something moving back here. Oh, that's your, it gauges the your big belt. We've got five hydraulic levers under the seat. Uh, that looks to be our throttle. Not sure what this one is, but something tells me we're gonna be spending some time in here. <laughs> This is your gearbox. One, reverse, two, three. It go for, moves. Go for neutral. This is a really weird gearbox. It's got an input in the rear and then two side outputs, like a front wheel drive vehicle or something. I doubt they made their own. And I'm really curious what that's from. Well, Jesse, should we start with the parts we know? I suppose. Let's put a battery in it and see if that thing spins. Oh, dude, check it out. Free crescent wrench, hell yeah. The click stop. Seems to be extra stop and no clicks. <laughs> oh, it barely reaches. You ready? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think our starter solenoid's stuck on. Okay, we got, it looks like a Ford solenoid. Oh. See if I can get it to rotate back to where it was. Which one do you think she goes? Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
least 15 pounds. I heard your elbow pop. That was my back. <laughs> oh, that's 55 pounds. Yeah, I was only like 100. Holy shit, this thing might be a little stucco. All right, I'm foreseeing step one being pull spark plugs and get some lube down these cylinders and get everything spinning. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh. How about gear lube? It's leaking. You're losing it. Oh no! It's very black. I don't think it's gear lube. It'll do. Bring it over. It's all we have. Oh, sweet. Okay, we're back in business. I didn't bring the right truck today since we have a trailer. We brought the diesel, which doesn't have the decked box in it. Uh, with most of our lubricants and tools and stuff like that. All we have is a battery, a uh, can of brake clean, and the Tang Tools portable toolbox. So. Mm. We might be locked up from carbon. Well, using our resources here, I'm gonna fill this with our found, definitely not gear lube, and pour it down some of the cylinders. So while opening this up, I just noticed there's a whole thing of motor oil right here. Oh, 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 oh there is oil in it. Has a blue haze to it. All right, there we go. Be free. So, trying to get this uh, back cover off so we can get the cover off the motor and spin this thing backwards a little bit with the uh, teeth that are on the flywheel. Uh, if you ever have a situation where a wrench doesn't fit at all, what you can do is jam a screwdriver against whatever's behind it and one of the flats of the uh, bolt or nut and then turn the other end and that will hold that sucker still not gonna lie Jesse I think this is a mark against Hagee I hope that they've revised this since the 60s or 70s or whatever this was built welded the hinge too close to the body Okay. I think it used to be red, believe it or not. Ooh, a bucket device. All right, let's see if we can get this cover off successfully. Oh. oh. Come on, tank tools. You've got teeth like razors, you can do it. There we go. Yeah, these do have really hard tips. I've never stripped one out. Stripped a few screws out using them, but actually they do better than most screwdrivers. Check them out for yourself, tangtoolsusa.com. Is that another oil air filter? Yep, gives you an idea how old it is. Ooh, the oil looks nice though. Unlike the, blue. unlike the H. Hey oh, look. look, a brand new Haggy sprayer. You think he wants to trade? Oh boy. Okay, so if you use tools improperly, <laughs> worry not, uh, Tang Tools has a full replacement program, so all I'm going to do is email them about the first Tang Tool I have ever broken since 2018, and they will send me a replacement one for free. You know what it was? I was literally bragging about it. That's what did it. Yeah. That and the like 600 pounds of force I was using with a 12 inch channel lock might have been a part of the issue there. I don't know. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. That's what we're looking for. Let's get ourselves some form of large metal bar. That's a lot of mouse poop right there. Holy crap. And uh, see if we can get this thing to rotate backwards and then hit it with a starter again. Gotta be careful because this is cast iron. It's brittle. <laughs> oh, dude. If we get this thing wrong, it's gonna be a miracle. Uh, the oil has changed in the year 2000. Was it really? That's what the oil filter says. Oh, so somewhere around a mere 20 years. That's fine. Ah. Oh, that's a mouse skeleton right there. Oh. 
it was not very durable. So, as you can tell, I've gotten this thing to rotate a little bit now. Ideally, if I had a pry bar, I could pry on something like the the flywheel is the best thing. Like the starter teeth, but it, a little bit of time. Got the corn in, so we got time now, but now that the corn's in, we gotta get the rain on. The corns are coming, Jesse. We gotta get the rain on. <laughs> this is fancy rain. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Uh, it did allow me to get a little more room and get another quarter turn in there, though. Go ahead, Jess. Oh, okay. We're getting places. Put it back. <laughs> Alright, hit it. Yeah! We got her free. That's step one. So you guys are always asking in my emails and stuff, what's the best way to unseason engine? Soak everything down in oil and find a good spot to ideally pry against, not so much hammer against, but this isn't some nice car. This is an old Wisconsin V4. I know it could take it. It's, I mean, it's literally a giant hunks of cast iron. It is the definition of a mortal. Best way for GMs, especially if you take off the transmission cover uh, on the bottom, you GM guys have this ability, the Fords do not. Fords are really hard to get unstuck. GM's not nearly as bad. Take off your transmission inspection pan underneath and get a pry bar and pry off the starter onto those teeth, the actual starter teeth on the outside of your flywheel and go one tooth at a time. Go back, go one tooth at a time, go back or do what we just did. Go back as far as you can, hit it with the starter, back as far as you can, hit it with the starter until you break through that ridge that's likely in the cylinders and then you should have rotation. Hit her again, Jess, one more time. Sweet. Next step. He's a runner. Spark. There we go. Oh, those look brand new. Look at that. They are a little corroded though. So get some sandpaper, clean those puppies up, and we should have spark if everything's working as far as coil and voltage. All right. Well, we've been working on this farm and stuff for so long that it's been a while since I touched any of our toolboxes and trucks, and apparently I depleted a lot of our resources to include sandpaper. So I found a shingle, and oh, <laughs> here's a screwdriver. How convenient. And some duct tape. And a pliers. Oh, they're good ones too. Yup, ah, uh, that's a keeper. If this works, I swear. I mean, it makes sense. They are abrasive, so. The trick is getting something in to wipe them off afterwards. There are some blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are the it's a little tacky. This could be good in the middle. Are they? Yep, that'll do. Ready, Jess? Yep. Keep going. Ah, there we go. Solenoid stuck again. I think our battery's dead. All right, new battery. Let's try this. Anything? There we go. You got spark? Yeah, now we have spark. Dude, hell yeah, the shingle did it. <laughs> Clean off our cap and rotor before we put it back on. <laughs> that works really well. Look at that, beautiful. As for the cap, I usually just scrape it with a screwdriver. Just get a little brass showing again. And we're good to go. Do -do -do. Do, do, do. Okay, we should have spark. Get these plugs back in. Uh, oh, actually, first, I'm gonna throw some brake clean down the cylinders to help flush the extra oil out, or it's just gonna foul up. This will evaporate better than oil, obviously, so it'll help evaporate all the oil in the cylinder. Let 
a sticky solenoid sure is annoying. I've never seen one stiff like that. It's a first for me. It might still be a little wet, but they might run. Oh. <laughs> Something tells me this is going to be a no. I smell lacquer. I think it's past lacquer. <laughs> is it now turned to liquor? No, it's just dinosaurs again. It went straight to the solid form. Holy shit, there's freaking fuel in it. Well, I'll uh, unhook the fuel pump and see what comes out. So usually people stop and ask like, what are you people up to? But I'm dressed like I'm supposed to be here, so not one car has even hesitated as they drive by. They probably think, oh, little Leroy's out there working on his sprayer. Okay, here we go, first start attempt in 20 years. Plugs are in, fuel line's disconnected. Let's see what happens. Definitely thought about it. I heard it. I think there's a mouse nest in the exhaust. <laughs> well, it was. The smoke is a good sign. That means it's burning some of that oil. Let's give it a little more throttle. We hit it with some brake clean again. It either fell our plugs. We lost our points. Might have lost our spark. Oh yeah, no, those are fouled. Yeah, they're literally like touching themselves with fluid. <laughs> Let's open these gaps up a little bit and try her again. Plugs are cleaned off. Uh, a little more brake clean down the cylinders. Spun it over for a good while. Let's try it again. she's got for throttle. I feel like I'm flooding it, but it wants a lot of brake clean to do anything. Hit it. I think our battery's going. <laughs> we do have a booster pack. I guess we'll go get that. You get that, I'm gonna see if the plugs fly out again, because I think we lost a couple and we got like one clear one. All right, plugs are in. Cylinders are hopefully clear. I've taken the uh, intake tube off. Let's see if I can get a little more direct with this. Hit it, Jesse. Uh, half throttle, please. Oh, that's good. You see a choke anywhere? If you can choke it, she might fire. Oh, it does not move. You have to believe in yourself, Jesse. Believe. I can't believe. Did you get it? No. I got, I got so a half I can't life. believe. <laughs> Chugging O rings, that was awesome. She's stinky. Oh, yeah, she's smoking. Hit it again. I'll see if we can run out the brake clean. Hit it again. She's fouled. All right, plugs out again. I have to run a little bit, showing signs of life. All right, spark plugs are clean again. Go for it. It runs. I didn't see a thing. <laughs> I went blind, dude. There was crap everywhere. All right, <laughs> here, you take this. Hit it. Immediately died as soon as I touched it. That's okay. It 
guns! <laughs> Would suggest standing over there. All right, sweet. Our seized motor runs. We need some supplies or to find a fuel line around here. And we need some air in the tires. There's a dead... How did we not see that? It's either a small dog or a possum. I think it's a coon. <laughs> it's a skateboard mortis. now. Let's see if we can find some fuel line around here, Jess. All right, so we got ourselves a motor that runs. The next step is to set up a fuel system. I found this really, really old plastic line in a shed. Uh, and I took this off the machine and I jammed it in there. Will it work? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. If it doesn't, I just found this. I've been wondering where that was. <laughs> okay, so we don't have to drive to town. Hell yeah. Let's hook this back up and see what happens. Actually, I think I found a better way to do this. Um, hose clamp, we got a better one. Yeah, we there's, have like a million. Yeah, there's probably a thousand on the machine. I just realized we're missing all our sprayer nozzle tips. Like all of them. Oh, oh no. We're gonna get a lot of spraying done really fast and in <laughs> big streams. It's actually a big wide fire truck. <laughs> we're the worst farmers. I think we're just considered to be corn planters. <laughs> Not really farmers. We're big gardeners. <laughs> the fuel line. I foresee no issues with this in the future. Me either. I'm glad you have such faith in my ideas. I mean, I have strong faith in you as we showed yesterday as you almost killed me. Actually, Jesse, those are your spray nozzles and those are your caps right there. So it goes filter, spray nozzle, cap. So we have all, they're just in this spot. They're just dispersed, like there's some way over there yet. Well, I'll go hook this up if you want to find all those. I just went through and counted. We have 17 of these that I have to find. I oh, can't yeah. find 17. Yeah. <laughs> That's because somebody yeah, like nine. In the meantime, I've got our fuel system set up. There's a wire hanging right here. I found that uh, plastic tubing over there, and then I found a jug and punched a hole in the top of the screwdriver. So, yeah, that should all be good to go. Uh, we'll throw some more brake clean down this and see if the pump works. I'm gonna go with it. probably not. Yeah. But if we don't, we got the clickety clack. Yay! Yeah. Go for it. sediment bowl is no bueno or the pumpy La Bamba is no bueno. All right, we got tired of messing around with that. Went straight to the electric fill pump. Turn it on just, let's see if it works. Yay! It goes clickety and clackety. I don't know Yay. if it, I don't know if it moves fuel, but. That's all the requirements, clickety clackety. And pump though, clickety clackety pump. We don't know if this one works.
spinning. Well, Jesse, I'll tell you what, if the herbicides and shit we don't spray doesn't kill any of the weeds or whatever, the smoke sure will. <laughs> Let's just smoke them all out. It'll kill all the mosquitoes, too. Some of the corn may die, but that is a risk I am willing to take. Let's get some air in the front tires and see what systems work on this thing. Oh, that's flat. some in there Oil. so uh that should do it let's see if the hydraulics work on this thing how high our booms go and if we have the chance to just back up and swing over the wagon and get on the trailer and go put the rain in exploding hydraulic lines. The important thing is it's up and it's above the wagon. I really thought for some reason that this thing would like turn 90 degrees and we could just whee! I don't know. It does not? No, it's all hydraulic. It's right there. There's no steering shaft. <sighs> wow, that swung way over there, huh? <laughs> yeah, it really did. I don't even know how to get this out of here with the wagon out of the way. Especially because this tire went flat. Did it? Oh, son of a bitch. We may have to get what they call creative. Ah. Come on, brother. Take my hand. Ah. You've done it, brother. A little more, brother. Oh, no. <laughs> brother, a little more. Oh, okay, I got it. Oh, okay, so uh, now it looks like a big set of guns, and I'm a pilot. Pew, 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 pew. Levers. Pull the bomb bay doors. Let's go for number one. You ain't first or last, baby.
Nothing? No spark. Well, what the hell? All right, we'll sand the point some more. Give me back the spark. All right, so as you can tell, we put the booms down, which means we come up with a, well, I wouldn't say a better plan, but a different plan. Instead of trying to wiggle our way to where we can get out around the concrete foundation, we've uh, we built a ramp. We're gonna go over the concrete foundation. again. Ta-da! It's out! Well, chop that up is one of the sketchier things I've ever done for a video. <laughs> Our starter is officially stuck on. <laughs> uh. And it won't run without the battery. <laughs> if I can get it to back up just enough, we could just winch it on the trailer. Maybe. Oh yeah, because we could move the trailer closer to it. Hell, maybe we want to load it backwards and we could just do it right now. Actually, we probably do want to load it backwards, looking at how the, the booms and everything are. I guess we've accomplished our mission somewhat. And the next part's the hard part. Will it fit? Actually, wasn't that bad. I've definitely loaded cars that were way worse than that. All right, well, there's that and all of the calamity that it is. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and seeing this haggy sprayer it would come back to life. It had a seized motor, uh, sat in a shed since about somewhere around 2000. It was not in good shape, but a little bit of persistence, a little bit of bashing on some things, it came back to life. Our next step is to take this sprayer down to the farm, get it ready to rock out in the field, get it ready to spray, and use it, along with all the other band equipment, to farm. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving a like and a comment down below. We'll see you right here next week for another episode of Junkyard Digs. Peace.